हेलो फ्रेंड्स आवर टुडे टॉपिक इज इमेज फॉर्मेशन बाय कॉन्वेक्स लेंस इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न व्हाट इज द कॉन्वेक्स लेंस व्हाई कॉन्वेक्स लेंस इज नोन एज अ कन्वर्जिंग लेंस रूल्स नीडेड फॉर द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ रे डायग्राम इमेज फॉर्म बाय कॉन्वेक्स लेंस डिफरेंट पोजिशन ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर इमेज फॉर्मेशन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इमेजेस एट डिफरेंट पोजिशन Let's see convex lens. Convex lens is known as a converging lens. This is the convex lens. Principal axis f1, f2 are the focuses of convex lens. Rays coming from object are parallel to principal axis. So this is the parallel beam of light rays. After refraction, all these refracted rays meet in a point at focus. This process is known as a conversion of light rays. So, convex lens is known as a converging lens. A lens that causes a beam of parallel rays to converge after refraction, as form a real image, is called converging lens. The focal length of convex lens is positive. Some rules has to be followed. Rule number one: When ray of light falls on the lens parallel to principal axis then it passes through the focus of lens after refraction this is convex lens the line passes through the optical center of convex lens is the principal axis f1 and f2 are focus of the convex lens this is incident ray coming from the object it is a parallel to the principal axis after refraction it passes through the focus f2 this is first rule if incident ray is parallel to the principal axis after refraction it passes through the focus rule number 2 when a light ray is incident on the optical center of the convex lens then it passes through the lens without deviation convex lens with a principal axis f1 f2 this incident ray passes through the optical center of convex lens there is no change in the direction of the incident ray third rule when a ray of light is incident on the lens through it focus then the ray become parallel to principal axis after refraction through the lens convex lens with a principal axis the incident ray passes through the focus f1 after refraction this refracted ray become parallel to the principal axis so these are the three rules c rule 3 is exactly opposite to rule 1 positions of object at different places object at infinity object beyond 2f1 object at 2f1 object between 2f1 and f1 object at f1 object between f1 and o that is the focus and optical center first position of object at infinity this is the convex lens with the principal axis f1 and f2 are focus of convex lens these are the parallel incident rays coming from the object at infinity these are the refracted rays passes through the focus f2 all these refracted rays meet in a single point what are the properties of image formed by convex lens there are three points to be consider number 1 is the image real and inverted or virtual and upright number 2 is the image magnified diminished or same size and number 3 what is the position of image so position of image on the focus f2 nature of image this image is a real and inverted and size of image is a highly diminished second position of object beyond 2 f1 ab is a object the rays coming from object ab the first ray is a incident ray is a parallel to the principal axis passes through the focus f2 second incident ray 
coming from object AB passes through optical center without any deviation. These two refracted rays cross each other in a single point. This point is the position of image A dash B dash. So position of image between F2 and 2F2, nature of image real and inverted, size of image smaller than object. Another position of object, object at 2F1, AB is object on 2F1, incident ray coming from object is parallel to principal axis, passes through the focus F2. Another incident ray coming from object AB passes through optical center without any deviation. These are two refracted rays crosses each other in a single point. This is the position of image A dash B dash. So position of image on 2 F2, nature of image real and inverted, size of image same size as that of object. Another position between 2F1 and F1. AB is object between 2F1 and F1. Incident ray coming from object AB is a parallel to principal axis, passes through focus F2 as per rule. Another incident ray passes through the optical center without any deviation. So image form A dash B dash beyond 2F2. So position of image beyond 2F2, nature of image real and inverted and size of image magnified. Another position of object at F1, AB is the object at F1 position, incident ray is a parallel to the principal axis, passes through the focus F2 as per rule. Another incident ray passes through the optical center without any deviation. These two refracted rays are parallel to each other. So image form at infinity. So position of image at infinity, nature of image real and inverted, size of image highly magnified. Position of object between focus and optical center. AB is the object, incident ray is a parallel to principal axis. As per rule, it passes through the focus after refraction. Incident ray passes through the optical center without any deviation as per rule. These two refracted rays are not parallel to each other or not cross each other. It means there is no image formation behind the lens. But when we extend this line, towards the object side, these two lines meet in a single point. This is the position of image A dash B dash. This image is a imaginary image. This type of the image is known as a virtual image. So position of image on the same side of the object, nature of image virtual and erect and size of image magnified. So these are the different positions of object to form the image by convex lens.